If what lies beyond Earth in space interests you, then you will certainly love this video. We are talking about the James Webb Telescope that will allow humanity to look back 13 billion years into the past. This means that we will be able to look so far away through the telescope and that if we try to travel to that place at the speed of light, which is not even possible, it would take us 13 billion years to get there. Fascinating, is it not? That is where it gets its name from, a time machine. It is also a very interesting concept as to how a telescope can look into the past. What happens is that space and the universe are absolutely huge, so for something like that, we do not normally use kilometers or miles as a measure of distance. Instead, we use light years. So how much distance is one light year? It is the distance light could cover if it traveled for an entire year. And remember that light travels at 186,282 miles per second. That's right, not per hour, per second. The James Webb Telescope gets its name from the second head of NASA, James Webb. This guy led the United States mission to Mars and was in charge of its operations back then. The telescope dedicated its name to pay respect to that guy and was born as a result of a joint venture between NASA, the European Space Agency and the Canadian Space Agency. Mind you, that is not something that was developed in the past couple of years. In fact, it has been under construction for more than 25 years now. I am sure you have heard the name the Hubble Telescope. Hubble has been responsible for sending us images of thousands of galaxies, planets and solar systems. We're talking about millions of images, each of which acts as a puzzle piece to help the scientists determine more information about space and what lies in it. But compared to the James Webb Telescope, the Hubble will appear like child's play. With its launch in November 2021, the James Webb Telescope will change everything about the way we view space. It is said to be about 100 times powerful, and that is saying something. To put that into perspective, the Hubble Telescope is powerful enough to detect the light of a firefly at the distance of over 7,000 miles. So the largest distance between the United States is 2,800 miles. Can you imagine being able to detect something through any telescope standing on the border of the US and looking at another border? And this amazing power has allowed scientists to unlock thousands of secrets about the universe. After the James Webb launches into space, Hubble will stick around for nine more years after which it will retire in 2030. So far, Hubble and Spitzer's telescopes have also allowed us to get some great information about planets that are not in our solar system. We have gotten to know about the densities, atmosphere and other properties of more than 100 planets that are outside our solar system. With James Webb, we are looking at about 300 exoplanets, which will further answer the question of life outside Earth in the universe. This is all very exciting, and NASA itself describes it as something that will change everything. The official description of the James Webb Telescope says the following. Webb will be the largest, most powerful and complex space telescope ever built and launched into space. It will fundamentally alter our understanding of the universe. Interestingly though, the Hubble Telescope is very close to Earth, and it actually orbits our planet as the Moon does. That is definitely not the plan with the James Webb Telescope. After its launch, it will begin to orbit the Sun. That is right, but it orbits the Sun in sync with the Earth so that the three are always parallel. That is supposed to ensure that the communication with Earth remains strong at all times. Why do we need that? The distance between the James Webb Telescope and the Earth will be absolutely gigantic. To put that into perspective, the Hubble Telescope is only 570 kilometers away from the Earth. Even the Moon is about 374,000 kilometers away. The James Webb Telescope will be at least 374,000 kilometers away from us, but that is just the minimum distance. At its furthest point in orbit, it will be 1.5 million miles away from us. As you can imagine, there are absolutely no plans of physically interfering with this telescope if things do happen to go wrong. In fact, scientists will attempt to fix any issues from Earth. Since we can't exactly fly out there and physically deal with any technical faults, it is important that every single aspect of this telescope is perfect. There is almost no room for any errors. If we compare it to the Hubble, the James Webb will be much larger in size. We could say that the size of the Hubble telescope is about the same as that of a bus. In contrast, the James Webb telescope will have a height of more than a three-story house and will be as wide as a tennis court. That is pretty huge, but it is still going to weigh less than the Hubble telescope. While the Hubble weighed about 12 tons, the James Webb Telescope is only going to weigh 6.5 tons. Yep, despite the enormous size difference. The telescope is going to be fitted with multiple mirrors, the largest of which will help capture the images of objects that are billions of light years away. The secondary and another curved mirror on the telescope will help improve the image and capture it perfectly. 
However, the largest part of the telescope will be its sun shield, with a length of 20 meters and a width of 7 meters. The shield will be covered with a material called Kapton, which will keep the sensors cooled down to minus 220 degrees Celsius. It will also help shield the telescope from the much harmful and powerful radiation of the sun. The thermal system is so well developed that it's going to manage temperatures on each side depending on the need. This means that the side that is supposed to stay hot, you could technically fry pancakes over there. While the side that is supposed to remain cool, water will instantly freeze and go to temperatures that we can't even obtain on Earth naturally. The larger size of the telescope, compared to the Hubble, also means that it can have a much bigger mirror size and capture images better. Another major component of the telescope will be its main computer located at the center of it. It will help navigate the object and manage its overall operations. This, of course, also includes contact with the team back on Earth. The NR cam will act as the main eyes of this telescope, allowing us to look at a few of the oldest stars in the universe, as well as the planets around them. This is not exactly a new technology, but something that has been enhanced over the years and perfected to make us see things that we could not through the older telescopes. The scientists knew much about what was needed even decades ago, but the sheer level of sophistication that was required for this telescope to become a reality was too much. In fact, according to the initial plans, it was supposed to launch back in 2007, but a lot of things needed more work and were yet to be perfected. So this was changed to 2021, but it seems that this is the timeline they are going to maintain, as all three space agencies seem confident about launching the telescope in November. James Webb is not only going to complement what the Hubble has done, it will go far and beyond that to let us penetrate deeper into the universe. The deeper we go, the further back we can look into time. It is hoped that after James Webb starts to send us some images back, the scientific world will quickly improve its understanding of the universe. Soon, James Webb will also provide us with a 3D model of the universe. Well, that will be all from this video, folks. Thank you so much for watching, and we hope you found this video interesting. If you did, please consider subscribing to our channel. We'll see you with another one soon. So take care and goodbye.